Um, today we'll be asking questions of the government about the failure of the border protection policy and um, in particular why we had uh, the former Minister of Health David Clark telling the New Zealand public on the 23rd of June that all border facing staff were being tested including those who did not have symptoms of COVID-19 and that that has been reiterated by Chris Hipkins, the current Minister of Health, and even by Jacinda Ardern last week. So we are, we'll are we'll be asking about that, this, this absolute failure, and the fact that the New Zealand public have not been told the truth. Um, in addition to that, I'll be raising issues around staff who have contacted us to let us know that um, they were not refusing to have tests, that they were in fact uh, not offered tests, and even some people have contacted us to say that they asked for tests and we refused them because they were asymptomatic. And um, that is entirely different from what the government has told us for the last two months. So we've had people, I've, ha I've had a couple of people personally come to me um, and I've spoken to them after they've emailed me um, about the fact that they, they, were, uh, they asked to have tests and we refused them. Um, but also, they've made it very plain as well, um, some of our other MPs have received advice that people, uh, staff have said that they, they um, were not offered tests and they did not refuse them. And um, particularly the weekly tests that they were, they were expecting those. So I think there is, when the Prime Minister has um, categorised this or as a miscommunication, I'd say it's just a complete, um, complete failure of the system.